had the cane sauce, so we'll see. Not a fan. But seeing Amber Chamberlain just like made my whole entire day. So I just finished the purchase and I feel broke. It's been four dollars. Love Curly K and I'm finally back with another video so I'm kind of on a trip vacation a soccer trip vacation we came out to Silver Lakes Ontario area for a soccer tournament and now it's time to go home and so basically I'm gonna be going to fly club today guys and I'm excited because I haven't been there in a really long time I've been there like last year for my birthday I think and it was kind of like I don't know, I just didn't get anything because, I don't know. But now, I have the money, I'm ready. So hopefully, you guys enjoy this experience too. I'm gonna be vlogging the whole thing. We just stopped by Raising Cane's. It's my first time there, because they don't have that in the Bay Area. But the malls out here are literally so nice, like way, way better than the malls that we have. So we'll see how Cane's is because Y'all on YouTube be gassing kings up, be doing mukbangs and stuff, so I'm excited. So I'm about to try this. I got the four piece, some four piece up with the Texas toast and cane sauce. I never had the cane sauce, so we'll see. Not a fan. It tastes like Thousand Island. Sour though. No, for me, big dog. They could keep that. The fries, let's see. Fire clip. Any more ranch? I mean, ketchup? I don't know. Time to try the chicken. Okay. Good. Time to try the bread. It's good, but I think y'all juice it too much. On a scale of one to ten, what is it? You're asking me. What is it? My uh, mom's ready to do test. Seven. She said seven. The chicken is is decent. Yeah. And the fries are good. Yeah. Did you want to do this? I just don't like their sauce options. They don't have too many drinks or nothing. I'm hey, still a Chick Fil A girl. All chicken, you really gotta do good sauce. You know what I mean? Yeah, I have some yeah. drinks and stuff. Like, you know what I mean? Yeah. People like compare Cane to Chick fil A. Chick fil A wins because they have more options. They don't yeah. just stick you with coleslaw. And they got drinks, milkshakes, all that. So, yeah. Cane's is cool, but it's not my favorite. See y'all later. Update will be there in 56 minutes. <laughs> So you guys, I literally just saw, that's Emma Chamberlain right there in the car. <laughs> I just talked to her. You should have been. I'm, I literally just fangirled like crazy. Okay, okay Cam, we pull back up on her, so get ready, we're gonna make her talk. <laughs> oh no, no dad! Pull your no, own. it's, yes. no. no. Raise the window down. Please go. No. Up right now. You He's scared? Trying to... No, I just talked to her. After and then... our Emma Chamberlain incident, we're finally here at Flight Club. My... It's very busy down here. I'm not expecting this. I forget what LA is like so much. <laughs> but seeing Amber Chamberlain just like made my whole entire day. Like I cannot believe this. I fangirl like nobody's business. It was so crazy though. I was literally watching her video right before I seen her, and I was driving, and she like went past, and I was like, "Was that Amber? I think this is this YouTuber." girl or whatever and I told my dad to slow down and then we pulled up beside her and my dad honked the horn she we rolled our window down and talked to her she's really nice I'm ready to spend all my money 
so since they have music on of course i just want to tell y'all kind of what was going on my dad was just showing me this unreleased section of shoes that like never came out or anything that people had put out but like weren't for sale and like family members put them out just to show and then here i'm just asking the girl that works there about some of the shoe sizes and like what ran and what and kind of like just to figure out my size because i pretty much figured out i wanted a pair of yeezys because i had been eyeing some for a while so yeah that's just me and her talking figuring out my size and figuring out which ones i was about to get y'all i'm so dead y'all see how stressed and irritated i look one thing i'm gonna tell y'all about me and i'm not ashamed of it is i really don't like spending money like i'm very frugal with my money i'm not gonna waste it on dumb stuff so it was really hard for me to like spend a lot of money on a pair of shoes because i don't like doing that type of stuff like i'm really into saving my money so if i look stressed just know i was thinking about my money okay like who don't think about their money but you know what it's okay we're gonna get it back period <laughs> So here the flight club lady had came back with the size I asked for and I was just trying on the London Mark Yeezy since this was one of the options I had liked. And yeah so I'm just basically trying on the shoe seeing how it fit. I think these were a five and a half I was trying on because that's the size I usually wear. So I just wanted to see how they feel and boy them shoes felt good. So once I got them on and laced up and tied I was just asking my parents like what they thought and I was feeling around in the shoe and like they're very comfortable shoes like they feel like you're on a cloud and I said that but y'all couldn't hear cuz copyright. But I'm just walking around in the shoes and don't mind how ashy I am that is kind of embarrassing. Those look cute on. Yeah that color goes with a lot. So I wanted to see what I actually like looked like with the shoes on but what was weird about Flight Club is like they don't have any full body mirrors so like you can see what it looked like with your whole outfit or anything. You can only just see like what it looked like on your foot because there's so many shoes up everywhere so it was kind of just weird only seeing my foot. I honestly feel like a narrator right now doing this with this vlog but y'all we gotta do what we gotta do. So after I finished trying it on I went over to talk to her about sizing again because I was pretty sure that the five and a half was fitting good. I just wanted to know what other Yeezys were in this size and what those prices were because originally when I came in I wanted to get the green glow Yeezys but those were like a thousand dollars and sis. I would have had a heart attack if I would have left that store spending a thousand dollars. So I got the London Marks. They were my range. They was cute. And one day I'll be back for the green glow. The green glows. Oh my God! Look at. It. <laughs> So I was just trying to take my thumbnail and this man looked at me like I was crazy and I didn't even know. I was just talking to my mom like, is the lighting good? <laughs> so I also wanted to try on these cream, triple white, whatever they call them, Yeezys. And I was liking them at first, but then I was just like, uh, I don't know. The white is iffy. Me and white shoes do not mix whatsoever. I could just imagine these shoes turning brown on me. So I didn't really want to risk it. They was cute, but I don't know. They just wasn't speaking to me like the patterns were in the other ones. So I decided on the London Mark Yeezys, and I'm getting it, so I don't like spending my money, but you know, I had to do it. <laughs> so I'm about to get them, gotta get the card out, now I feel broke, but you know, it's okay. And so Pete behind me, when I was talking, my mom was recording me and I didn't even realize, so that's what this is. And then she was like, I caught the vlogger vlogging, so that's what I said. <laughs> So it finally came down to the hard part, whipping out that card and paying. So I got up to the register, whatever, and they told me my total. And I was just checking out the shoes and everything before because they're not about to be making no mistakes. And mm -mm, I don't have time for that. So I went on and paid. And she boxed up the shoes, put them in the little red flight club bag. And I got my belongings and left. So we just finished huh? the purchase. Ew, that's so ugly. That's gross. Oh, yeah, we go. Yeah, we, we Wait. just leave in a flight store in LA. So I just finished the purchase and I feel broke. I spent $494. Wait. So this is basically the end of this video. I love Flight Club with some Yeezys, the London Marks that just came out like two weeks ago. They're cute. I like them a lot. I can't believe I just spent that much money on some shoes. But you know what? YOLO. You only live once, and that's what I just did. I lived. I just wanted to point out with this whole situation before you guys come for me Turn telling me I'm spoiled because that's all y'all love to say after the shoe collection video, especially. 
I paid for these myself with my own money, so let's just get that out the way. So, I'll see y'all in my next video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Shout out to Emma Chamberlain. And I'll see you guys in the next video.